the graphics of candlesticks allows the candlestick investor to much easier assess what a market trend is doing. Obviously, the Dow's moving sideways, but notice how it trades. Even an uptrend, it's up, down, up, down, up, down. A downtrend, down, up, down, up. I mean, we're, there is no consensus between the bulls and the bears. Now, that's the obvious. What most investors don't uh, assess or apply to their trading is they're waiting for it to go one way or the other instead of seeing what it's doing and actually trade in that manner. The same scenario can be applied to the NASDAQ, which even though it's been a very slow uptrend, it's basically trading at the same level it traded months ago, just chopping up and down. However, this makes a good trading platform for using candlestick charts effectively. Utilizing the patterns such as a fry pan bottom and seeing them break out, this becomes a much higher probability trade to the long side based upon knowing that the market in general is not being killed or selling off dramatically, that if the market is moving sideways, that individual stock charts will perform well without having to worry or assess that there's big downside move in the market or a big upside move in the market which allows the candlestick investor to just evaluate a good pattern. As we can see in our recommendation on ANTH, when it did this little cup and handle and broke out through this downtrending channel, even though the market has waffled, we can see there's been a very strong trend. And how long do we hold on to this stock? As long as we don't see a candlestick sell signal and a close back below the T-line. This is not rocket science. This is just putting common sense elements into graphics that the Japanese rice traders have produced for us over 400 years. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.